If you want to improve your English, just listen to this video all the time, even while sleeping. Just keep the video on while you're doing your daily activities. At some point, you'll start to understand English. Before we begin, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Listen carefully. 1. Keep up. Present tense. You're keeping up the good work. You're not keeping up the good work. Are you keeping up the good work? Past tense. You kept up the good work. You did not keep up the good work. Did you keep up the good work? Future tense. You will keep up the good work. You will not keep up the good work. Will you keep up the good work? Use of modal verbs. You should keep up the good work. You shouldn't keep up the good work. Could you keep up the good work? 2. Step in. Present tense. I often step in to help my coworkers when they are overwhelmed. He doesn't step in unless it's absolutely necessary. Do you usually step in when you see someone struggling? Past tense. She stepped in to resolve the dispute between her children. We didn't step in because we thought it was not our place to interfere. Did you step in when you noticed the problem? Future tense. If he continues to struggle, I'll step in and assist him. They won't step in unless they see a clear need for intervention. Will you step in if the situation gets worse? Use of modal verbs. You should step in and stop them before it gets out of hand. We must not step in without fully understanding the situation. Could you step in and help me with this task? 3. Check out. Present tense. Check out this amazing view from my window. Don't check out that website, it's not safe. Did you check out the new restaurant in town? Past tense. I checked out the book from the library yesterday. I didn't check out the sale at the mall. Did you check out that movie I recommended? Future tense. I will check out the new cafe when it opens. I will not check out the new game, it's not my type. Will you check out the concert next week? Use of modal verbs. You should check out this new band, they're great. You shouldn't check out that area at night, it's dangerous. Could you check out this document for me? Before beginning our speaking practice, let's learn some new vocabulary, today's keyword, to improve our English skills. Keep up. The term keep up is quite versatile and can be used in various contexts. It can be used when you are walking or running with someone and you want them to stay at the same pace as you. For example, when you say, keep up with me, it means, walk, run at the same pace as me. Keep up can also be used when you want someone to continue doing something. For instance, when you say, keep up the good work. It means, you're doing well, keep doing it. Additionally, keep up with can be used to express the ability to stay updated or at the same level with someone or something. For example, when you say, I can't keep up with the latest technology, it means, I can't stay updated with the advancements in technology. The phrase keep up is primarily used to mean follow along or continue, but it can also have a few other meanings. Keep up can also mean to maintain. For instance, when you say keep up the pace, it means maintain the pace. Additionally, keep up can mean to stay informed or updated with someone or something's progress or changes. For example, the phrase keep up with the latest news means stay updated with the latest news. Therefore, keep up can be interpreted differently depending on the context. More detailed explanation. 1. General conversation. Example. I try to keep up with my fitness routine every day. In this context, keep up refers to continuing or maintaining a regular activity, in this case, a fitness routine. 2. Learning or education. Example. It's important to keep up with your English lessons to improve. Here, keep up is used to convey the idea of persisting or continuing with something in order to progress, in this case, English lessons. 3. Technology or trends. 
Example. I find it hard to keep up with the latest social media trends. In this scenario, keep up denotes the action of staying updated or informed about something, in this case, the latest social media trends. 4. Work or professional setting. Example. John is working hard to keep up with the project deadlines. In this context, keep up refers to keeping pace or staying on track with something, in this case, project deadlines. 5. Personal development. Example. I've started reading daily to keep up with my personal development goals. Here, keep up is used to convey the idea of continuing or maintaining an activity to progress or improve, in this case, personal development goals. Step in. The phrase step in is typically used to suggest the act of becoming involved in a situation or taking action, especially in order to help or prevent something from happening. In the context of a problem or dispute, step in means to intervene or become involved. For example, the teacher had to step in when the students started arguing. Here, the teacher had to get involved in the situation to stop the argument. In the context of taking over someone's duties or responsibilities, step in means to take over temporarily. For example, I had to step in for my manager while she was on vacation. Here, the speaker had to take over the manager's responsibilities temporarily. The term step in is typically used to mean to intervene, but it can also have a few other meanings. In a physical sense, step in can mean to enter somewhere. For example, when you say step in the office, please. It means please enter the office. Additionally, step in can mean to substitute for someone. For instance, in the sentence if the goalkeeper is injured, the substitute will have to step in. It means if the goalkeeper is injured, the substitute will have to take his place. Therefore, step in can be interpreted in different ways depending on the context. More detailed explanation. 1. General conversation. Example. When my friends argue, I usually step in to make peace. In this context, step in refers to intervening or getting involved in a situation, in this case, to resolve an argument. 2. Work or professional setting. Example. Our boss had to step in when the project was falling behind schedule. Here, step in is used to denote taking action or getting involved, in this case, to address a delay in a project. 3. Family or personal matter. Example. When my brother was struggling with his homework, I decided to step in and help. In this scenario, step in denotes the action of getting involved or taking over to assist, in this case, to help with homework. 4. Emergency or unexpected situation. Example. When the lead actor fell ill, the understudy had to step in. In this context, step in refers to taking over someone's role or duties, in this case, the role of the lead actor in a play. 5. Group activity or event. Example. When the host of the event suddenly left, I had to step in and take over. Here, step in is used to convey the idea of taking action or getting involved, in this case, to take over hosting duties for an event. Checkout. The term checkout is quite versatile and can be used in various contexts. One of the most common uses of checkout is when you're leaving a hotel after your stay. For example, I need to check out of the hotel by 11 a.m. Here, checkout means to complete the hotel's departure process. Checkout can also mean to examine or look at something. For instance, you should check out that new movie, it's really good. In this context, checkout is suggesting that you should go see the new movie. In a retail context, checkout refers to the act of paying for your items before leaving the store. For example, I'm going to check out now, do you need anything else? The term check out is typically used to mean to leave a hotel after your stay, to examine or look at something. Or to pay for your items in a store, but it can also have a few other meanings. Check out can also mean to understand or figure out. For instance, when you say I can't check out why he did that. It means I can't understand why he did that. In addition, checkout can mean to look at someone in a way that expresses interest or admiration. 
For example, the sentence check out that guy's amazing dance moves means look at that guy's amazing dance moves. Therefore, check out can be interpreted in different ways depending on the context. More detailed explanation. 1. General conversation. Example. You should check out the new Italian restaurant downtown. In this context, check out refers to going to visit or examine something, in this case, a new Italian restaurant. 2. Shopping or commerce. Example. I'll check out these items and meet you at the car. Here, checkout is used to denote the action of paying for items in a store before leaving. 3. Travel or hotel stays. Example. We need to check out of our hotel room by 10 and tomorrow. In this scenario, checkout refers to the process of leaving a hotel at the end of your stay. 4. Entertainment or leisure. Example. Let's check out that new movie everyone's talking about. Here, check out means to go see or experience something, in this case, a new movie. 5. Understanding or figuring out. Example. I need to check out why my computer keeps crashing. In this context, check out refers to trying to understand or figure out a problem or situation, in this case, the cause of a computer issue. From now on, I'll read each sentence of today's story. Listen carefully and try to follow along. You're keeping up the good work. You're keeping up the good work. You're not keeping up the good work. You're not keeping up the good work. Are you keeping up the good work? Are you keeping up the good work? You kept up the good work. You kept up the good work. You did not keep up the good work. You did not keep up the good work. Did you keep up the good work? Did you keep up the good work? You will keep up the good work. You will keep up the good work. You will not keep up the good work. You will not keep up the good work. Will you keep up the good work? Will you keep up the good work? You should keep up the good work. You should keep up the good work. You shouldn't keep up the good work. You shouldn't keep up the good work. Could you keep up the good work? Could you keep up the good work? I often step in to help my coworkers when they are overwhelmed. I often step in to help my coworkers when they are overwhelmed. He doesn't step in unless it's absolutely necessary. He doesn't step in unless it's absolutely necessary. Do you usually step in when you see someone struggling? Do you usually step in when you see someone struggling? She stepped in to resolve the dispute between her children. She stepped in to resolve the dispute between her children. We didn't step in because we thought it was not our place to interfere. We didn't step in because we thought it was not our place to interfere. Did you step in when you noticed the problem? 
Did you step in when you noticed the problem? If he continues to struggle, I'll step in and assist him. If he continues to struggle, I'll step in and assist him. They won't step in unless they see a clear need for intervention. They won't step in unless they see a clear need for intervention. Will you step in if the situation gets worse? Will you step in if the situation gets worse? You should step in and stop them before it gets out of hand. You should step in and stop them before it gets out of hand. We must not step in without fully understanding the situation. We must not step in without fully understanding the situation. Could you step in and help me with this task? Could you step in and help me with this task? Check out this amazing view from my window. Check out this amazing view from my window. Don't check out that website, it's not safe. Don't check out that website, it's not safe. Did you check out the new restaurant in town? Did you check out the new restaurant in town? I checked out the book from the library yesterday. I checked out the book from the library yesterday. I didn't check out the sale at the mall. I didn't check out the sale at the mall. Did you check out that movie I recommended? Did you check out that movie I recommended? I will check out the new cafe when it opens. I will check out the new cafe when it opens. I will not check out the new game, it's not my type. I will not check out the new game, it's not my type. Will you check out the concert next week? Will you check out the concert next week? You should check out this new band, they're great. You should check out this new band, they're great. You shouldn't check out that area at night, it's dangerous. You shouldn't check out that area at night, it's dangerous. Could you check out this document for me? You shouldn't check out that area at night, it's dangerous. Could you check out this document for me? Let's listen to the story again. 1. Keep up. Present tense. You're keeping up the good work. You're not keeping up the good work. Are you keeping up the good work? Past tense. You kept up the good work. You did not keep up the good work. Did you keep up the good work? Future tense. You will keep up the good work. You will not keep up the good work. Will you keep up the good work? Use of modal verbs. You should keep up the good work. You shouldn't keep up the good work. Could you keep up the good work? 2. Step in. Present tense. I often step in to help my coworkers when they are overwhelmed. He doesn't step in unless it's absolutely necessary. Do you usually step in when you see someone struggling? Past tense. 
she stepped in to resolve the dispute between her children. We didn't step in because we thought it was not our place to interfere. Did you step in when you noticed the problem? Future tense. If he continues to struggle, I'll step in and assist him. They won't step in unless they see a clear need for intervention. Will you step in if the situation gets worse? Use of modal verbs. You should step in and stop them before it gets out of hand. We must not step in without fully understanding the situation. Could you step in and help me with this task? 3. Check out. Present tense. Check out this amazing view from my window. Don't check out that website, it's not safe. Did you check out the new restaurant in town? Past tense. I checked out the book from the library yesterday. I didn't check out the sale at the mall. Did you check out that movie I recommended? Future tense. I will check out the new cafe when it opens. I will not check out the new game, it's not my type. Will you check out the concert next week? Use of modal verbs. You should check out this new band, they're great. You shouldn't check out that area at night, it's dangerous. Could you check out this document for me? Today, I practiced making sentences using five words. Try practicing making sentences yourself regularly. You'll notice your English skills improving day by day. Stay tuned for daily exercises and let's make learning English an awesome experience. See you in the next video.